Looking to improve your fitness business while keeping your bottom line in good shape? Let the gym administrator help you achieve those goals. With their powerful team of fitness industry professionals at the ready, the gym administrator covers a wide range of industry-related products and services that will help you build your business and increase profits. The gym administrator works with reliable industry suppliers and vendors that place a heavy emphasis on service, just the way you remember it. Give them a call at 914-494-1066 or visit them on the web at thegymadministrator.com as well as all social media platforms. The Gym Administrator, all your fitness needs under one roof. Scan the barcode at the bottom of the screen to get started today. For years, we were known as Central Veterinary Associates, and we know that some of you were not exactly thrilled with the services that were provided. But a new day has arrived. We're changing and will now be known as Premier Veterinary Medical Group. But it's much more than a name change. It's a new management team, a new attitude, with a new state-of-the-art modern facility in Rockville Center, New York. We're going all out to provide the best possible care for your pets, and that includes 24-hour day, seven-day-a-week emergency care from a team of highly trained professional emergency care veterinarians. So check out the all-new Premier Veterinary Medical Group. We're ready to serve Nassau and Queens counties with compassion, commitment, and the utmost confidence. And we have immediate openings for overnight emergency vets with great pay and outstanding benefits. Contact us today at premierveterinarymedicalgroup.com slash careers. <laughs> Dan, can I ask a couple of quick questions from the chat room? Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, I was just about to do that because um, I, I don't mean to steal your thunder, Benny, but... but no, go uh, right ahead. Go right ahead. Yeah, no, there was... Um, let, me, let me find it. I like I like the foxhole Willie. Yeah, uh, that's question. that's the one I was looking for. Foxhole asked a good question because you were talking about working with the guys in the back. Uh, f he wants to know if you ever had a crush on any of the wrestlers when you were backstage with your dad. Um, maybe. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. It was more in WCW when I was a teenager. Um, but we actually, my husband and I watched his dark side of the ring last night and it was Marcus Bagwell. Oh my Lord. Anytime he came in the room, my lips little, who my heart went a flutter. Um, yeah, my hormones were crazy at 15. So yeah. And he was, did he live close to you guys? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he was, uh, he could have, I mean, his career derailed right when they, you know, when WCW, uh, when, when when they folded. I thought he was going to be one of the bigger stars in uh, WWE, but. Well, and even happen. dad thought he was a really good worker and really thought he had some talent, you know. He had some the talent, to but... work. He had, a, he pretty much had everything. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, we just watched his dark side of the ring last night and it's so funny you asked that. <laughs> Because I was like, I told my husband, like, oh, I had a crush on this man. <laughs> That's great. What? <laughs> my husband's over there. Like, <laughs> uh oh, you're, you're being judged from off camera, huh? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. A run in. So judgy. Uh -oh. My dogs are judgy. Who, I mean, whatever. <laughs> what, what else jumping out at you in the chat, Benny? Let's see. Uh, crush. Oh, was 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 your dad ever a baby face? I don't remember that ever no. happening. But never. he was pretty boy Bobby Heenan, but he was always a heel because he started with Angela Boffo, right? Uh, who was a baby face, but for some reason the way it worked is the fans didn't like Dad, but it worked to his advantage because he could still put anybody over, right? You know, and when you think of it, really, that like you, I can't think of very many heels that were heels their entire career. Right. I mean, even the great heels, like, you know, even Pop, well, Piper, Piper turned baby face and would stay that way for a long time. But, uh, and, you know, the, conversely, very few uh, baby faces were career baby faces. But right. yeah, I, I, can't, I can't even think of anybody besides your dad that was, you know, a, a career heel. Career. Even as an announcer. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I have to say, my, my favorite, even though it's, it's, it's almost cliche, my favorite call in in you know 40 years of being a wrestling fan was the when the the barber shop segment when the rockers split and Shawn michaels throws marty Jannetty through the glass of course yeah. the whole the build up to that where your your dad's you know oh yeah see i told you they were going to stay together and then he kicks him he's like oh i knew he was going to do that right yeah he throws, 
he throws Janetti <coughs> through the glass, and your dad's like, "Look at that coward, Janetti, j- jumping through the window trying to get away." It's just I, to this day, every time I because that clip gets aired frequently, I, I always laugh. And it's like you said, it was all off the cuff and yeah. perfect. I mean, some of the best calls in, in history all come from that. And then of course, like we said with the duo, you know, um, but we talk about the heels, we talk about the, the, the history, you know, your dad was still involved. You still at the convention circuit after he, after he had, you know, lost a, his voice Yeah, back as we, as we wrap up, you know, your dad loved wrestling. He, he loved being a part of it. What, if he could pick anything to be remembered, like what, what would your dad want to be remembered as or for being a good dad? 